Hi everyone, it's the English Summer here, and today I want to do something that I actually haven't tried yet in The Sims 4 for Rent. Whilst I was playing this through Early Access, I really wanted to focus on how you actually upgrade and get better with your property management. However, in today's video, I decided why don't I try out being a bad landlord? See if I can actually get any of my rental units to a one star. And just yesterday, I celebrated celebrated 10 years of my channel. Can I really call myself a simmer though if I don't explore everything that this new pack has to offer? I am currently cozy by my fire. We are in a very old school London or I guess just like English city. Yes, I am using the Get Famous set decorations. What about it? I thought that was a very smart idea for a backdrop. Honestly, looking pretty cozy right now if you ask me. And then these are my six other units. I currently have one family. I have the Crabtree household. Of course it is Kermit the Frog. Who else would it be? And Miss Piggy with Bettina and Belinda. Which means we have another five to rent out. So let's try and get these vacancies filled. I am gonna apply every single rule. Hello? I want to be snatching money out of their hands. Although I'm assuming that the rent cap is probably Yep, it's gonna stop me straight away. These are down to pay 125, which I mean is close to my personal rent cap. Oh, but then we could have Felix Sighted, who is a ghost, and that would break the no ghost rules. A couple of people have told me that they can't reach the second page of like this fill vacancy. They can't go to select tenants. Make sure that your cursor still isn't in either of these. I've set my lease length to two days because I want to see if I actually do earn rent. The size is small, the amenities are basic. I think the only way you can get one star is if you don't have any amenities whatsoever. So like no beds included, no toilets, not even like a shared bathroom or anything like that. The maintenance is poor and the environment is lacking. Oh my God, I know so many of you are gonna be chanting Moya, Moya, which I think we're gonna do. 33 simoleons, she is swindling me. 20 seven simoleons is their rent cap. Like, I know you have two infants. I know you have tax evaders. Don't ask me why I am planning to move the boulder in. He is one, one of my favorite townies ever created. Also, I feel like he could crush me between his thighs at any given moment. I kind of want to snoop on them a little bit. I am nosy. I did also make myself a klepto, so I can steal their belongings. But unfortunately, I know that these houses are not decked out or whatsoever. So there's not going to be a lot that I can get my sticky little fingers on. Deliver, fine, maximum occupancy. Hey, Boulder. Oh, uh, did we just get caught snooping? Yeah, I think we're embarrassed by it. I do already want to deliver a fine. Why can we not deliver the fine? Lads, I'm going to need you to move out of the way. Oh my god, everybody is here. Why are we having a meet and greet? This is the smallest little corridor ever. <gasps> be careful, Mika. I need you to pay me money. You can't be falling off this balcony. Let's go light their fire. Let's give them at least a little bit of warmth. Maybe I can entice everyone into uh, the apartment. Imagine if they had made this kettle usable now that we have kettles in the game. I genuinely would have cried. There are four people, young adult household, and they have one double bed. I really said I ship them from from the get-go. Don't be flirting with anyone else or else I'm gonna have to report it to Kermy. I'm sorry, Bob Cratcher. In a pickle, I truly, deeply, irrevocably, I swear, irrevocably just always reminds me of Twilight. Let me do a dramatic reading of the script as if I was Bella. About three things. I was absolutely positive. First, Edward was a vampire. Second, there was a part of him and I didn't know how dominant that part might be that thirsted for my blood. And third, I was unconditionally and irrevocably in love with him. If they ever remake Twilight, I'm just saying I'm only a call away. Actually, I really don't want to be in the same room as Renesme. Ooh, these are maybe the other Sims that live in the household. They are so cute. I want to do a deep dive on like all the townies that they created for for rent that you can like move in. I feel like that's going to take a pretty long time to figure out though because they actually haven't written like household descriptions for any of them, but you can definitely find out their traits in Create a Sim. I think another thing that could potentially help 
our rating go down is being mean to our tenants. I swear, Miss Piggy is about to start flirting with Taruna. Right, why are you all pretending that you're all frozen? You all have your very own heaters. I know it might be adding to the industrial eco footprint, but I'm just trying to get the environment to represent an accurate smoggy London. Hey, Mole, you're so notorious that one of my... Yes, absolutely give them my number. I would love to have a partner in crime. Absolutely no inspection and maintenance will be going on in this Christian rental residential. Oh, this is also their shared bathroom, by the way. Look, I'm so nice that I even got them the new toddler potty. Don't say I don't care for my tenants. Weren't they meant to fix people like walking into your house? No trespassing. Emily's also working on her mischief too can play this game. You better not be using my bathroom. <gasps> you're even worse. You're using my iPad. I heard a lot about you, mostly bad things. Do I already have a big reputation? No, I'm neutral. I am oh natural. Thank you very much, Akira. How about I order some Strangerville bugs so that I can start listening to people even more and then blackmail them further. On the road to fame? Oh my goodness, my name's already getting out there. This is great. All I did was write a gossip blog post. XOXO mole. Uh, Monday morning. Uh, nothing like going to collect my rules broken. So, Cratchit's actually broken his. I'm coming for you, Bob. Deliver fine for maximum <laughs> occupancy. I swear, I I almost stumble over Macumen. I did it literally just then. Your attempt to gain compensation for maximum occupancy rule failed. Well, let's plant a bug on Lil Miss P. And then we are gonna prosecute a fine. <gasps> Not in front of Tiny Tim. I didn't want Tiny Tim to see me this way. Thank you very much. That shall be mine. A thousand support. Oh, we gave her a hug afterwards. Oh, oh no. We were planting a bug. No wonder she didn't even notice. I didn't even notice that. That was stealthy. Tiny Tim's like, why are you taking our money? Why are the windows broken? Oh. Is it just because I wasn't on full wall height? That's what happens to windows if you play on low. The more you know. Every day I am discovering something new about the bugs in this game. Speaking of bugs in for rent, I actually asked my Twitter followers what were like the big bugs that they were running into because I've seen a lot of people doing that. I don't know why I can't deliver a fine on this household. How about we eavesdrop again a little bit more? <laughs> Who's currently in here? Oop. A secret like this should never get out. It's one the public would be up in arms over, or should I say up in feet over. I'm just a collector, it's no big deal. People, other people's socks? It's other people's socks. How is that a crime? I find them in the lost and found at different places around town. It's completely harmless. I mean, that's less harmless than just stealing a pair of socks off someone. And I thought I was the bad landlord here. You won't catch me stealing people's socks. I know that they need them to keep them warm. I have a terrible circulation. Maybe that's why townies never ever have socks on. Even though uh, the team literally uh, called that out in their patch notes. They're just constantly gonna have the maximum occupancy broken because there's like six of them in this household. Which I do still think that should go off how many beds rather than just being limited to four. It does seem a little bit silly to me. I'm just gonna leave it because I think that's actually bringing it down and I'm glad about that. So maybe I shouldn't be collecting even though I technically want the money. It goes against everything a bad landlord stands for. Now that the secret is known, Mole can choose to inform Kenneth that she will hold on to that secret or blackmail them to keep the secret for cold hard simoleons. I'm not not just gonna straight up do that. Who do you think I am? Blackmail. Yeah, hand it over, buddy boy. I love how they just give us all envelopes. It's very, very official. It's not even just like a stack of cash. A hundred simoleons. Nice, I'll take it. Can you not break objects with mischief? Do you have to be part of the club to do that? Renegades, where are you? Why is Nancy Langrab not part of the Renegades? <gasps> 
Max, you have made an enemy today. What if I move you in to my unit? Listen, I don't know where those extra simoleons came from. This is the person we need to keep an eye on, Mrs. Craig. One day I checked my account and saw all my funds were normal, as expected. A few hours later, I'd randomly acquired thousands of simoleons out of nowhere. It must have been an accounting error or something. I swear I didn't steal them. I was so nervous. I panicked and spent it all on a bunch of new furniture to hide the evidence. If anyone finds out, they'll assume I'm a thief. Has she been stealing from me? Let's go snoop in her bed. Is she gonna catch her snooping? Uh-oh. Oh, she absolutely did not care. We faced no repercussions whatsoever. I love them. Uh, they feel like they have energy of Strange Town Sims from The Sims 2. I don't actually think they do. I think it's just their outfits that are giving me that vibe. And the fact that he has blue skin because he's frozen. So therefore he feels like an alien. Even though I very much doubt he is. I do kind of wish that was a thing. I wish that the townies had also been created with other packs in mind. To tie in cross compatibility. So that you could have like a secret alien living as a tenant i just think that would have been ace for like storytelling like off the cuff moments fire is such a powerful thing it grants us the ability to create delicious foods and interesting inventions but it also threatens us with the possibility of destruction and demise and yet for some reason i can't help but think its destructive nature is beautiful sometimes when i'm cooking on the stove or the grill i almost wish my culinary creation would catch fire so i can see those beautiful flames once again just to keep things a little spicy you know i mean i would never let my pancakes catch on fire on purpose never ever i am so glad i didn't give you a grill. I'm glad that you literally only have a fire so that you can just sit there and watch it. Hello, sir. Yes, I know your secret. I am going to spy. Oh, there we go. There's the repercussion. She is not happy that we were snooping. Oh, we really don't look like we're spying on him. We look like we are spying on a certain area, which makes me feel slightly uncomfortable. I am actually gonna mock that facial hair. I mean, we did get a brand new facial hair in this pack, so why are you still stuck with that tiny mustache? I love how blackmail money actually goes towards this lifetime aspiration of fabulously wealthy. I think the tenants are actually revolting against each other because I have been watching my sim like a hawk and she was not the one who pranked this. Now, I don't know who it was. I'm gonna put my money on Alex Moyer. I was like, where is everyone going? They all just come to this little back lot area to have fun. They're hiding their fun from me. They're here shoveling snow, making snow angels, making snow pals. Well, I never, I've figured you all out. Number six has broken the trash overload rule. Neighbors wouldn't be surprised if the whole building gets pests. Post fine remotely using the mailbox or prosecute fine directly. Ow, what if I wanna keep that trash so that we do get pests? Can I go and destroy their hard work? <gasps> destroy snow pal, destroy snow pal. Oh, I can't destroy the snow angels. Oh, this one looks like Tiny Tim's made it. Oh my God, this one's a Cyclops. Is that bacon used as the smile? Incredible performance. I wish we got enough so snow for me to be able to recreate a Sims 4 snow pal. I'm fairly sure ever since we got seasons where you could build snow pals and then also snowy escape, I don't think the UK has had enough snowfall to for me to even be able to record that video. I might message Jesse and be like, video idea for you because they are definitely more likely to get deeper snow than me. Maybe that's why I continue to play the Sims to continue my childhood because I don't don't get snow anymore. Pyro? No. I like how the game is trying to tell me that that's from recalling my first fire when we all know it is probably very much directed to the fact that Jesse Craig 
literally just said that he enjoys fires. And it's kind of ironic considering we have a fire in almost every single one of our rooms. And where we don't have a fire, we have a radiator that actually isn't upgraded to not be fire resistant. I'm glad Jesse's not like living under me or above me. I deleted their snow people and then the snow cleared up. I am the omnipotent god. Can shared spaces develop mold? Probably not because technically it doesn't have like the lot challenge hmm. that's why i put sinks in everyone's rooms but i don't think any of them are broken lingering ghost is haunting the unit try to play say the possessing ghost wait you're in mine felix is this because you're annoyed? No longer feel excited because I didn't offer you a hope. I mean, you would have been charged with breaking the rules straight away anyway. I can't believe the ghosts are the first ones to take a stand against me. How is this happening? He's not even a tenant. Exercise the ghost or confront the ghost. I am absolutely going to confront him. I am ready to fight at any given opportunity. Get out of my house. What are you doing with your feet? He looked like he was doing a little jig. No, I will not stand for this. How dare you fix my toilet? I've given you two chances. Third strike and you are out. I am going to exercise you. 400 simoleons. And I'm now scared of ghosts. Thanks so much. Tenant Rubble, it's happening. Your time has come. The Brock household in 32 Old Mill Lane has endured bad living conditions for far too long and it appears they are on the brink of staging a revolt. Try sending a conciliatory letter via the mail or visit the unit promptly to address their concerns before your unit rating takes a hit. What if I want it to take a hit? How do you expect me to take you seriously when you're all just spawning into each other? How long does this last? 12 hours. They said we will be here morning till night until you hear us. What if I just put my earbuds in? We are gonna listen to metal. Do do do, I'm just vibing in my own world. Mika is actually the only one who cares. Considering it was the Brock household who uh, called it, I don't even think the Brock household are in here right now. You're all actually snakes. Why are you making this little elderly lady shiver out here in the cold? Why does nobody want to get up and work anymore? Hey, uh, Layla finally joined in. I love his little outfit. Outfit. These two, what is going on here? This is like magnetic. I mean, Mika, you're concerned about your rental unit. I'd be more concerned about your husband. Oh, I actually would feel terrible if some of them actually freeze because they have to stand out here for like 12 hours. What are these two doing? What is going on with my tenants? They just look like they're checking each other out. Is this like some sort of animation? She was the one who started all of this. She has not picked up a picket sign this whole time. She's also actually the only tenant that I personally have not interacted with, which I think is hilarious. She said, I really feel left out of not being treated as badly as all the other tenants. So let me host a revolt that I actually won't take part in though. I want to evict all of you purely for this poor woman's sake. Mika deserves some peace and rest from you all. You have ignored the dissatisfaction of your tenants from the re tenant revolt. As a result, the unit rating went down. Was it just that one particular unit rating? No, it was all of them. I just want to get to a one star. Taking the hit it only seemed like a small problem, but Mole is finding out the hard way that being a property owner requires more proactivity. Pro is not in my landlord language. Actually, in Instead, I'm just gonna take a bath with uh, some nice lavender foam. I am unfazed. I was about to say unproblematic, but that is not the truth, Ellen. I still haven't received any rent yet. I'm fairly sure rent is just like completely bugged in my game. I didn't receive rent any point in early access. I set everyone's tenancy 
to two days. Max Ren 80. Wait, why am I paying him 70 then? Rent change has consequences. Will affect the unit rating negatively? Yeah, absolutely. You think I care? Moya so lied to me. It was like max rent 33 simoleons. So that's all I made her pay. Now it's saying it's 70 simoleons. An acquaintance was telling me how much they dislike you. Try being a little nicer. How about we come break into your home and then get caught red handed? Because I want to see if that also negatively impacts my rating. This is just a social experiment. It's fine. It's fine. Paul Sprouse got away with doing a social experiment online. I'm allowed to do it too. I think I have to visit the unit before starting a break in. But you already knocked. So you already told them your location. You told them exactly where you were. Start a break in. <laughs> Love the double loading screen. And then we have to click break in again. Flawless. There's nothing to see here. It's fine. You don't care about your neighbors that much. Success. So we have managed to sneak in. Let's go do a cheeky little snoop. On the surface, it could be a painting of a rainbow, but take a closer look and the brush strokes reveal a million tiny llamas inside of the rainbow. I even etched a super detailed llama on the bottom of the vase I sculpted during the pottery unit. Thankfully, no one, oh, the fact that they say that they do pottery in high school, I guess elementary. So they're technically not lying because we can't attend elementary school, but they cannot do it in high school. And also we just do not have pottery in the Sims 4. We do have a piece of clay. 2024, year of the hobbies pack. Let's manifest besties. I need it. I need it so desperately. I really need the loo. Am I about to just piss on their floor? You're telling me you've never gone over to a neighbor's house to use their trash can? I mean, technically considering I am the only one with a rubbish bin in my house. That is not shocking, Emily. That is actually the least surprising secret you possibly could have had. Hi, sir. Bob, you gonna catch me? Um, he's more, everyone loves their fires. He's more concerned about warming himself up than there was literally no reaction to me breaking in. Well, that's annoying. I definitely have had a reaction before now. I feel like I could turn this into a 24 hour unpaused Sims 4. No one's done that for for rent yet, I don't think. Just to see uh, what issues we could potentially uh, come up with. I reckon we would get to one star if we did that. Yes! Just as I was getting into a fight with Alex, we got an insect infestation. This is the first time I'm ever gonna see this event happening. How is he dealing with a bug infestation when he loves a fire? Like he could literally just set these bugs on fire and that would be the end of them. I don't think you can actually set the bugs on fire though. I know you can set the uh, mushrooms on fire. I mean, it's not even a very uh, big place to <laughs> to have uh, bugs. Let's actually eavesdrop first. Oh, they leave like little... Uh... What are those like piles? Are they like all their shits? I wish you had an option to like pound on door if you were like a mean landlord or something. Deploy a fumigation device, 400 simoleons or stomp the bugs. It might take longer, but individually squishing each bug will be cathartic. Just might not be the most permanent solution. Literally just imagining that these are her tenants. Oh my god, this is an infestation. You look like a garbage rat. You look like an infestation. Oh, they're so gross. The fact that they're so close to like where they eat and also their bed as well. That is yes, squelchy. <laughs> oh, she is going oh. ham on those bugs. Ashless chaps. Damn, I just got treated. Thank you very much, sir. Oh my God, it literally respawned. Like right next to where that pile was. That might be a little bit more to the side, like outside, but that was quick. Are they gonna multiply? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my God, they do multiply. There's now seven. Uncomfortable. Pest impatience. Creepy crawlies are appearing all over the place. Maybe Mole should have kept the place a bit cleaner. Hey, this is not my place to keep clean. Mr. Assless Traps just walked in whilst I was on the toilet. Oh, she's still going to sleep. She is unbothered. We love an unbothered queen. <gasps> what the heck? Oh my God. She just got, oh, oh no. That's cause she peed. I mean, I'm not surprised she peed. That terrified me. Why did that go with such a bang? Nothing was done to address the insect infestation. 
as a result, your unit rating went down. So why is it going up? I'm so confused. I don't think it's possible to get to number one. Like I said, I think you have to get rid of basically all amenities. You could probably do it if you were doing like the one tile challenge, but it is hard to get it to a level one. Before I wrap up this video, I also wanted to see how the mold kind of affected if you were the landlord who was also living in the lot. To get it actually started, you one need the mold lot challenge on your rental units. And then you also either have it on your home one, or if you have it on tenants, you actually need to go in and play as the tenants. Have one of their appliances break. For me, it was the sinks. So that's why I put a sink in every single unit. I don't think it can happen randomly unless maybe you get like a breaking one and you just stay on the lot for as long as sold actually spawns. I haven't fully yet tested that, but my sim currently has the toxic mold outbreak. Mole's moldinitus has developed so much it almost feels deadly. The mold has taken over her body, but is it too late to endure and survive? You can actually scrub off the spores, which I haven't done yet. So I'm gonna have her attempt to do so and see if that actually gets rid of it. It looks like it's disappearing. It says like 10 minutes, eight minutes. Oh, she's gonna pass out from sleep, hopefully. Not forever. There we go. That's just a sleepy one. That's all good. I can handle that. I'm fairly sure Alex is still going to have it, but I don't know if she will actually pass away. I do have neighborhood stories on so that Sims can die in accidents, but I don't know if mold is kind of tied into that. <gasps> There's an allergenic mold pile and a toxic mold pile also in the bathroom. Has that spread from Alex's place? Cause this is her flat. So shared areas can get it. I wonder if that happens once an actual unit gets it and then it just spreads. Because because these were broken and we weren't getting toxic mold piles. Oh no, I have it in my lot. Get rid of it. We are gonna clean that pile. Absolutely not. We're not dealing with that. Do I have any others in my home? Oh, this is really difficult to see on the dark floorboards as well. Oh no. She hasn't cleaned it up yet and she still has it, even though she does have a shower available to her. But I mean, this one also has toxic mold in it. So I don't think even a shower is really gonna help. She's trying her best to clean. Oh, Alex. You shouldn't have annoyed so many people in my audience whilst you were trying to give those tutorials. She's going on a little Christmas jaunt. We are just getting it from like being close to it, even though we haven't actually entered the flat. All right, I'm gonna wrap up there before it's too late. If you do have any suggestions for like a one star rating, do let me know because I would love to hear that. Also, if you want to see a video on like a deep dive into the townies that the Sims 4 team created, then definitely let me know. It could take a little while to like discover them all because I'd have to make a place big enough to like get everyone in and then I'd have to be like sure of who was introduced in the pack. But I think it could be a fun video and I'm kind of intrigued by them. So let me know down in the comments if you would like to see that. Thank you all so much for being here and I will speak to you all in my next one. Bye now.